Okay, let's try this again. You stay put. Don't move. That's kind of one of them reasons I don't trust, uh, I don't trust that mount there. It has a tendency to fall off. The phone does, not the mount. The mount's thoroughly grounded. Here we go. Set that up in there. That hole in the frame is a slaughter hole. The hole in my 3 8 is, is the right size. Or the, the, yeah, the 3 8 plate is the proper size. Um, there's a couple of bolts. Up through from the bottom. And they're there just to position. Position the brackets so they're up tight against the bottom of the frame. Yeah, see now I'm gonna have Painted fingers. I think I can. This is going to be a challenge. That's alright. I'm going to repaint when I'm done. I'll have to unpaint my fingers. Alright. Half inch bolts. Half inch flat washers. These holes are slotted on the inside. You know why they did that? It's because they were, that's where the bumper mounts. They want to be able to move the bumper around and make the body lines line up. Now we're going to do something different for a bumper. So. We're using them to mount the springs. Flats, lock washers. <laughs> They're all bolts in. Start tightening them up. I don't think I have to worry about anything moving around here. They're bolted together so many different ways. Now the flat washers and the lock washers on the 5 8 bolts. And they're slotted too. I think I'm wearing more of it than... Now, uh, yeah. Now we need uh, impact something to tighten up fittings. I 
I've used uh, this is a 2.0 batteries. I've used some of them five batteries. Boy, does that make a difference in this gun. But I'm too cheap to go my, buy new batteries because they're about 100 bucks a piece. I don't use them that much. Better draw it up tight there. Now I need the three quarter. Three quarters. and the 5.0s too, but I don't foresee me ever needing them. And, uh, yeah, now we need the 5.8s. Or 5.16s, 5.8 bolts. 15.16 socket. dry than rust so at least it won't start expanding all right now I got a couple of uh, 7 sixteenths it's on a Ford I was really trying to keep it all Ford because Ford has a tendency to use different side bolts for every little thing. You need a whole tool set to get the thing bolted together. So that's alright. It'll be fun. Seven sixteenths is just a weird size. Just didn't want to make them half inch. I'd have made them all half inch, but Ford used them a lot. Tractor implements used them a lot. I think it had something to do with the Society of Automotive Engineers using them a lot. I don't think I need 
dog washers. I think the paint will just keep stuck in there. And then the other thing is, why in a 7 16 bolt is the head 5 8 and the nuts are 11 16 Figure that one out. Just a pickle eye. Alright, that should be the last time I have to take that out. Sixteenth wrench, three quarter, eleven sixteenths. Five eight socket. Okay, there it is, all bolted together. Flat washers on them slotted holes. Everything else, there's some grade fives. These are these are grade fives, but them big ones are all grade eights. Uh, the bolts I use back there will be grade eights too. So, anyhow, I'm gonna get busy and paint the rest of this thing and uh, then it's ready to hang the springs on it so maybe the next time we'll have uh, yeah, I gotta get I gotta get some more u-bolts I only got two u-bolts I have to get four uh, maybe we'll get be close to getting an axle on it so all right thanks for watching All right, it's uh, it's Sunday again here. I don't know, must be the seventeenth or something like that. Uh, I think the last video I showed, I was putting uh, the cross member and the spring mounts on. I uh, got got the springs mounted, and they're my new springs. And I don't know if I showed them, but there's the part number. Uh, I changed my shock mounts they had a, a stud sticking out and I used the type put a bolt through them uh, so I made some brackets for that these are my new spring shackles that's Ford's version of a spring shackle I've got rubber uh, urethane bushings for this and pins, but that's my my version of the spring shackles. Another spring shackle and another U-bolt uh, mount there. Uh, I got the shock mounts added. Uh, I'm ready to put the. I'm ready to put the uh, the paint dries out there. I'm ready to put that stuff together and hang the springs back there. But then I'm ready for the for the axle. And uh, here's my dilemma with the axle. 
this bracket here is rusted pretty badly. And the glare on the screen. Let me clean that off. There we go. That's better. Uh, yeah, this bracket here, and it's, I think it's only eighth inch. It's not very heavy. And it's rusted out. And, uh, there's a company that's company that builds the uh, spring reversal kit makes makes this. They want a hundred and forty or fifty dollars for that, and you have to cut it off and reweld it. So <clears throat> I've got me a piece of plate. I'm gonna drill some holes in it. I'm going to manufacture that piece too. Now that's for the pan hard bar and that is for the steering stabilizer, that hole there. So we're going to make a few brackets for that. Uh, yeah, that's not the spring perch. The spring perch is down here. This is solid and it's welded to the frame. That's just where the U-bolts go through and hold that on and I'm afraid it's going to collapse. So that's where we're at there. Uh, we got the springs in, the shocks mounted. The weather hasn't been cooperating with trying to plan anything. It rains about every other day. So I've been working on this. I'm coming right along, I'd have to say. Uh, anyhow, that's my next thing is I'm going to cut that, uh, cut that mount off there and fabricate a new one. So thanks for watching. Okay. Well, I got it cut off there and you can see how thin it was, how thick it was at one time. It was probably made out of quarter inch material, but it's rusted out on both sides really bad. Some places it's not an eighth of an inch, so I need to clean that up. Grind that weld off there. Figure out what I need to do there. Uh, our thickness here isn't very thick, so that's three eighths plate, so. I'm thinking I'm only going to need about another three eighths for the edge pieces. So, and I spray painted this here. My other thing is I got a bunch of videos backed up, backlogged, and I need to I need to put them together and make uh, update this thing. So, anyhow, I've been too busy. Either working on this or working the farm, and when I get in night, I don't feel like making videos up, so I need to get my butt busy. So, all right, thanks for watching.